Well, hey guys, come on, Journey. Journey and I are up here today on the hunting grounds, and you might be wondering what in the world am I doing driving this old farm truck? Well, I'm going to be planting a food plot with this old farm truck. It's the first time I'm ever gonna to attempt to plant a food plot like this. So you guys are gonna to have to stay tuned in for that. Um, but like I said, so many times when you're planning and establishing a new food plot, timing is a big, big part of that. Well, we've had like three days of bad, bad weather. We've had tornadic activity, we've had flooding. Last night we got a ton of rain in our area. And for the method that I'm planting this food plot, I need to be planning right after a rain or during a rain. I was gonna be in Kansas this weekend chasing turkeys, but that's gonna to have to wait probably half a day because I'm here to plant. You're just gonna have to stay tuned in to watch. Let me tell you what we're doing today. We've got the annual summer blend by Eagle Seed. It's got buckwheat, sunflower, cowpea, and soybean in it. So it will be the first time I've ever planted this mix here on the hunting grounds. What I've done up here in the front of this food plot that we're fixing to get to is I've sprayed it the other day uh, with glyphosate. It is completely killed. And guess what we're gonna be doing? Here in the Ozarks, we have really, really rocky soil. And uh, so in order to get the planting conditions that I needed, I really needed a lot of rain to make the soil soft because we are going to throw this down right on top of the sprayed food plot and then we're going to roll it over with this heavy roller and press it into the ground. I wanted to wait till the soil is nice and soft. That way if I threw the seeds, it wouldn't crush it on all the rocky soil. It'd push it down in it, therefore allowing me to plant the seed without having to get in there and cultivate and till or break up the soil whatsoever. And uh, hopefully we're going to have less weeds this way and it's just going to be an awesome planting method. So this is going to be the first time to try and we're going to try it out. Well, this food plot's looking really great. Not even a week ago, I came in and sprayed it with the glyphosate. It's really turned yellow. The only thing that's really green in here right now is a little bit of the clover, and there's probably some peas and soybeans that are left over from last year's planting in here. So it is looking awesome. It is ready to go. There is enough organic material on top of this soil. It's gonna hold in the moisture. I'm gonna be able to throw the seed. It's gonna work its way down. And then I'm gonna roll over it as well. And so it's gonna press it into the ground. Probably what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna throw this seed out here a little heavier than you normally would if you're like no-till drill planting it just because some of the seed might get damaged because I'm rolling over it. Some's gonna get exposed to the elements and dry out and birds are probably gonna come in and get some of them and rodents and everything else. So you wanna plant it a little heavier when you're broadcasting like that. And so we're gonna try this out. The soil's definitely soft. Um, and then I think it's gonna plant really well. I'm pretty excited about this. Excited about this method because now I don't have to have the rocks in here. I'm not working the ground and pulling all them up and I'm not gonna promote a lot of weed growth because I'm not bringing that new seed bed up. It should be a great way to plant this food plot, but time will tell. Now it's time to get to work. Now this seed just looks awesome. The reason that I decided to plant this seed here is because I do have my house, which is only 150 plus yards away up there, and I really want this food plot to have some structure. So along with the sunflower, it's gonna get some height. You know, you got the soybeans and the peas in there, which are gonna add a lot of structure and a lot of browse, especially in that mid-range. And so it's gonna hopefully even grow up the sunflowers. And then you've got that buckwheat that's gonna grow down low. So you've really got cover and food 
at every height and stage throughout this food plot and a lot of structure for the deer to hide and browse in not too far away from my house. So they're going to feel safe coming out and feeding in this. It's just going to give me another food source here on the hunting grounds because I have increased my deer population so much that I've got to increase my food sources even if they are closer to the house. Might not be an area that I hunt way up there on the far end, but you never know. I never will rule that out. If a big buck starts pattering himself in there, then I'm definitely going to throw up a tree stand. So that seed just looks awesome. Beautiful colors and everything. See that sweat? Man, nothing like an early morning workout. Anyway, food plots planted. Now we got a drag. And Journey and I just getting to sit in the truck and do the easy part this time. Come on, Journey, let's go. Up in there. go the food plot is 100% finished and planted and rolled and everything so this is going to be an experiment it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out appreciate you guys tuning in again if you guys want to see how this turns out and want a lot more food plot videos be sure to subscribe comment down below give us a thumbs up and guys until next time have a better than average day Won't you tickle